Stephen A's new show on ESPN Plus, he does very much believe it's pretty much championship or bust for the Sixers. You've got to finish this quarter strong if you're Houston. Harris leaning in, can't get the floater to go, got it back, and gets fouled. Tobias Harris will shoot two. Thibel gets it back out to Harris, who has 14 in the quarter. Harris, step back jumper, no, long rebound taken by Houston, the heave. Thibel gets it back out to Harris, who has 14 in the quarter. Harris, step back jumper, no, long rebound taken by Houston, the heave. Keep on coming across the state of Texas. This is one of the biggest news stories. There's about 2.6 million outages. In Texas, and certainly our best wishes and prayers go to everybody dealing with it right now. And Doris, you know. In for Eric Gordon. Now the challenge for the Rockets, who scores wow. with this group. That was a nice block by Nawaba. McLemore take it on Scott. <laughs> You'll take that. Yeah. Oh, what a rejection flying back. David Nawaba, who's a very good defender. Now McLemore all the way in, banks it home. And Houston building a little rhythm here in the second. But Philly is big, long, tough. Like, get into your early offense playoff transition if you can. I just, I like how aggressive his straight line drives are. I mean, he's just saying, all right, listen, if you're going to be reactive to me, I'm going to put it on the deck and straight line drive it at you. The intensity of the Philly fans, how it reminds him of the Celtics and how, you know, a lot of people, they'll be intimidated by that, but he loves the energy of it, even though obviously it comes with critical examination. And not with him, but while he was a player, somebody tell him in a story like, playing for the Sixers and saying, hey, we're here for you, and we want to cheer for you. But while he was a player, somebody tell him in a story like, playing for the Sixers and saying, hey, we're here for you, and we want to cheer for you. But like, as Ben Simmons said last year, they'll let you know at Philly fans if the home team isn't playing up to standard as well. Other guys picked him up, and then he's had stretches of dominance himself. But this is the end to me that they've got to get tighter on has creeped up a little bit closer, I think, in an attempt to try to get some rhythm. He's three for four shooting free throws tonight. Yeah, and he had been just 51% to start the season. Because I've always felt like last year, before the playoffs started, I thought, all right, has he gained enough of his own equity in his mind to contribute to a high-level playoff team? The answer was mm. no, he hasn't been consistent yet. So they're still searching for answers in that second unit. Four on four basketball down this way. Gordon can't finish, but the follow is good. So they're still searching for answers in that second unit. Four on four basketball down this way. Gordon can't finish, but the follow is good. Doing just enough to hang in there. It's a 16 point game. Philadelphia has missed 10 of its last 11, make it 11 of 12. Foul was on the floor before the drive there from Tate. McLemore will fire, can't hit. Now one of seven from three-point range. Fight off narratives or help MVP cases and hurt your championship hopes. They need to be smart with Joel Embiid. Right. right, I think Doc Rivers has been around. About energy and he's gonna to continue to provide the energy. You have to match that for the last 6.09. Being an undersized team, Steven Silas sending a number of guys to the offensive glass. Wall veering ahead, lost it in traffic, wanted a whistle, didn't get it. Here comes Curry, finding Embiid the deep catch, and he does get the whistle. And now 19 points, three steals as well. Embiid fouled immediately by McLemore. 